Anybody trim your nails for you before? Uh, no. Okay. Not that I remember. Now these these I think are easy, would be easy for you to do, but um, I'll do them anyway since you're here. Full service. That's very nice. My clipper like that disappeared, so it's kind of hard with the big ones that are made for fingers. Right. I think it's great that other agencies know about us and send over their clients. Yeah, that one actually looks like it's growing into the skin. Is that painful for you? Well, it can be. I mean, not when she's cutting, but even just, just wearing your shoe? It can be. Looks like it's, it's really tender. It's a lot better tender. now than it was. Now, how did, how did this happen? Well, it goes back to when I was a kid, like 10 years old. Mm -hmm. And we went to the Excelsior Amusement Park. Blah, blah, blah. It was, and, uh, well, I could tell you how the day started, but I was in the fun house when this happened. And, you know, you have those weird mirrors that you do bigger and smaller and mm -hmm. skinnier and fatter. And there was this uh, kind of obstacle course that you walk through. Mm -hmm. And it had boards that moved back and forth or front and back, you know, as you walked that were under the floor. And you walked on them and, of course, they had little ropes for railings along the sides. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, I had sandals on and my toes caught the floor and my toenails caught the floor and my sandals and my toes went underneath. So that was the first time that they were violently removed and they never grew back properly. Right, so that they never will. I mean, they'll stay thick like this, but okay. your choices would be to come in and, and let me just take the nail off, um, or to come in every couple months and have me just thin them down. I see. To keep them comfortable. Well, it seems a lot better now already. Oh, yeah. I mean, but what you can see here, and I'll have Deb come closer with the camera in a minute, is that this nail has created quite a dent in the skin. Mm -hmm. So it's been pushing against the skin all the time. Yeah. I have it really pretty close right yeah. now. So you can see that that would be really painful. So I'm gonna take the sander before we go to the other foot. And I'll just do this one first. Have you stay there. I can see why your toe is red. Yeah. Why it was All that pressure. Yeah. So that pressure on that And skin. the nail was loose, so it didn't even have to be there. Vibrations always gets people. She's just smooth enough to your nails in. You're fine. You're fine.
for you when you hang up one second. Just gonna get you up one second. Doing okay? Yeah. Good. I'm so ticklish on my feet though. That's why I'm gonna bounce around, bounce around there. It's okay, it's pretty typical. Everybody jumps. Even when I do it on my own self, I jump. <laughs> Have you done it on yourself, Judy? What, trim my nails? Yeah. No, the the Oh the dremel. the dremel? Uh, it's vibration. Yeah. Alright, so this looks pretty good except you can see how deep these go. Yeah. These little dents where the nail was pushing in. So yeah, we'll talk about having you come to my office to have it to have it removed. I've done foot care, I've never heard a story quite like yours, though. Yeah, we just thought, right? Okay, sounds good. Okay, okay. you're welcome. Oh. Cornelius is going to go quickly shower. Okay. I figured this might take a little bit longer. Is that other place for stain? Is it pretty good or? Oh yeah, it's not too bad. It's uh, it just was renovated on the second floor. Oh good. And I was on the second floor before, and then we all had to be all together, and that was very difficult. They we stacked up like sardines. Mm -hmm. you know? But it's much better now. We just four in a room. Oh good. And it's very clean and much nice. nicer up there than it was. Good. Do they bring and, food right there? Uh, downstairs, yeah, okay. at the cafeteria. But then, uh, they haven't done the deck yet, which was the best part of the second floor. Oh. There's an outdoor deck. They, For they, smoking and what have you? Yeah, and you didn't have to go outside if you were on second floor. Mm -hmm. But, uh, there's only been, I saw a contractor doing an estimate for it. Uh, a couple of days ago. Are you allowed to go out there now as it no, is? No, not as it uh, is. Yeah, so it's unfortunate. But Well, at least they're trying to improve. Oh, yeah, That's for sure. Good. Is it full? Uh, I don't know for sure. Um, it seems full? Usually, I think it is pretty full as far as the second floor goes. Mm -hmm. Downstairs is a madhouse as far as how many people there are, actually. The safe way. And unfortunately, luckily we're not there anymore. We're back upstairs. We were the first. How long were you down? Uh, six months, I think. Six that, months? Yeah. No, that had to be a tough time. It was tough. But it's been very expensive for me to be there. I took money out of retirement and I've been ripped off of over 25 grand. There? Yeah. That place is ripping you off? No, not the oh. place, the people in it. Oh, no. Yeah. And, of course, they don't take any responsibility for that whatsoever. And it was my fault for not realizing at first what he could have done, but I didn't know his name at first either, but I, was, I, had, a, I had a phone that I kept when I bought this one because I wanted a backup. And... Uh, well, I was out, that phone and two AirPods disappeared. And uh, I made a report with them. And uh, 
with Troy, but of course they don't have any liability or responsibility for it. But they made a report. And what I didn't realize is that, you know, well, this is what I know from people that told me that I tracked the phone on my Find My app, mm -hmm. right, and it went out the building, out the back door, which we're not supposed to use, around the building in the front. And I tracked it for months, and it would be at the Mall of America, it would be at the second hangar of the airport, it would be in Golden Valley, and the airports would be in different places sometimes. There's two pair, so they would be in different places sometimes and then together. And uh, he sold them. Well, he sold the phone to uh, someone that was there, and I started erasing it. And the way I found out who stole it was by the guy complaining that he wanted his money back to the guy that sold it to him, and he wouldn't give him his money back, right? And he uh, so, somehow he knew how much to charge him because he made him pay 400 for it, which was what I would have gotten for returning it as a trade-in, right? And but I wanted to keep it for a backup. That's the reason I kept it. Anyway, I still didn't know his name, but this is the culprit's name. with Wings. I told the branch that I'd gotten a recorded message from Wings saying that they, they're fraud detection, you know. And uh, I went to the bank and told them and, and I kept covering it. I, you know, I, the first time I didn't know what happened, right. And, but anyway, uh, but I kept tracking it, whatever. What he got at that point wasn't as substantial because I I paid a lot of bills with the money I had and I figured well I just didn't keep track well enough. That's a lot of but money. Knew, but it wasn't that much at that time at the initial part. But uh, it was he came back. Yeah, and because he had my phone. He already had that information, right? And he knew how to hack into mine. And when he was back, I, I, I saw the AirPods come back, right? One pair of them. And I made them make a noise in his ear. And I heard him go, ah! So you, was he in the place where you're standing? Yeah, he was in the place on the second floor. And that was just before the renovation. And uh, I was in the bathroom one day, and as I came out of the shower, he backed into the bathroom and told somebody on the phone my name as if it was him. Right? And I approached him in front of the office about it, and he ran down the stairs and out the door. And uh, there was a person that told me she didn't want anybody to know that she told me his name. She told me in his ID card. 
Okay, well, thank you for letting us do the video. Um, You're welcome. And just leave them on till tomorrow. Okay. Those will be Those will be fine. All right. Um, but, yeah, I think you left about a pound and a half a nail here with us today. So, all right. Well, thank you. You know what? I never gave you any yeah. socks. Okay. Do you like white socks or dark socks, short or long? Uh, I like I, I like prefer the short. Actually, I have a lot of long socks. Would you like something like this? Yeah, that's perfect. And you have flip flops. I do that. Okay. Yeah. You can 